Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. Happy Wednesday. It's the middle of the week and we are here to do a shave. Actually, it's going to be a, a kind of a vintage, well, I'm going to use a vintage razor in today's shave. I was on a, a live feed Q&A on Sunday at noon with uh, Rick, the owner of Sebum Gold, and uh, he set it all up. And he said, you want to come on? We can answer some questions about the Ken Surf channel. He can answer questions about his products and we can have questions from the audience. And one of the questions from the audience was pretty cool. It said, Ken, I'm a wet shaver. I have one razor right now, but I really like wet shaving and I want to buy more razors. Do you recommend vintage or modern? And you know, both are good. And I said, well, you know, some of the classics, Gillette Black Beauty and, you know, Fat Boy, I mean, they still work good. And he goes, really? Uh, you know, I'm new to the channel. Can you, can you do a demo with one of the vintage razors? So today I'm going to be using a short handle Gillette Black Beauty. And I had to rewrite the, uh, the uh, info for this video because I thought this was a 70 and actually it's an 01, which is a 1969. 69, dudes! Oh. So, I'm going to be doing a uh, shave with this today. I'm going to be using... My friend Kevin uh, sent some shaving cream I've never tried. Actually, this is from London. Uh, maybe you guys in Europe have tried it. Murdoch shaving cream. It's a soft, very soft uh, soap. So, I'm going to be doing a face lather with this today. And just a very neutral smell. You know, not nothing, nothing too spectacular. But I went to their website and I was checking it out, and uh, they do have a lot of uh, a lot of literature on this and wet shaving and other things. So if you get a chance, you can take a look. I'm going to be using a synthetic brush today uh, from Phoenix uh, Shaving, the Amber Aerolite. I've used it before many times. I like that handle. I can really grab that handle good. Uh, you know, it, it just makes for you know ease of shaving. And since it's a synthetic. Should be no problem. So I'm gonna put this right here in the crystal skull, let it soak for a second. And finally, on the reasonable cost side, uh, some Aqua Velva Musk. Wife's gonna hate it, but uh, I like these vintage stuff. I like the Men in uh, Skin Bracer. I, I like Old Spice, I like it all. So I'm gonna use this today. As you can tell, I haven't used too much of it. So I'm gonna be using that. So, and for blades, the Wilkinson Sword Gillette. So let's get this shave started. Let's crank that up. Open up the blade. Man, I brought in some oranges from outside from our tree and I brought with it some lousy gnats, fruit flies. So I gotta be careful. Next time I'll rinse them all off before I bring them in. But uh, I like that fresh squeezed orange juice, man. There's just nothing like it. All right, Wilkinson Sword Gillette. Twist to open, 1969. All right, before I tighten that up, I have it set at three. I might go a little bit more aggressive. I'm gonna go to four this time. We'll just see how it does. I usually use the long handle. This is the difference between these black beauties. You can get the long handle, the short handle, but the short handle is very easy to grasp. And man, after all these years, it still works fantastic. After 50, what, three years? All right. Let's get started. Now, live Q&A was pretty cool. That it went at one hour and 20 minutes. I just, you know, it went so fast. And since I didn't have to do anything except read questions and answer, it was super easy for me. In fact, uh, Rick said, hey, you want to download the video and put it on your channel so people can watch. But it's an hour and a half. It just wasn't gonna download and let me edit and upload very easily. So there's a link. If you missed it and you wanna see it, there's a link to that one hour and 20 minute Q&A <laughs> uh, in the description of this video below. All right. Get some of the uh, water out of it. Actually, I could have just put a little bit on there, but there we go. Face ladder. And yes, if you haven't tuned in for a few weeks, I'm growing my goatee out. I always do for Lent and uh, it's starting to come out because my daughter always takes me, my birthday's at the end of the month. So she always takes me to Disneyland and I always see in, in all the photos from all the years, I always have a goatee. So uh, for some, 
That's the reason. It's not some religious reason. It's just uh, nostalgia. Very nice. Like I said, very neutral scent. Very soft soap. I've never used it before. So thanks, Kevin, for sending that to me. I do appreciate it. You guys in Europe, uh, it says free shipping to the UK, so I don't know if you guys in Europe have tried it. But I have not. And it's a uh, tin. It's in a tin can. So pretty cool. All right. Let's see if setting four will do it. Hear the feedback? Almost. Not BBS. Almost, but still. And I was telling the gent who asked the questions that you can find a lot of these on eBay, but unfortunately, a few years ago, it was very reasonably priced to find these vintage razors. But now wet shavings expanding all over the world and people are adding to their collections, so sometimes these are harder to find. And I have yet to find one in an original container or original packaging. And as you progress through the years of the Black Beauty, the base plate turns plastic. These ones, the early ones, are still metal. So to me, they seem a little more durable, but I have tried the plastic ones and they work just as good, but I think metal lasts longer than plastic, right, guys? Automatic air freshener. People always ask, what's that noise in the background? Automatic air freshener. <laughs> My dog, uh, I shot that Q&A in uh, my son's room, which is now the office, and uh, in the background, you can see the sofa and Monty, my dog, jumps up on the sofa. I go, oh, this is nice. He's in the background. People always want to see him. Then he starts licking himself. I go, oh, come on, dog. So, <laughs> that was kind of funny. Distracting. I was slowly, like, moving my arm over on the camera, kind of covering him, but... Uh, and he stopped when I yelled at him or told him to stop. And then I started again. Son of a gun. Scene stealer. Now that is definitely more like it. Someone going out the front door. I think I nicked myself in my usual spot. We'll find out in a moment. All right. A little cold water rinse. blew my back out Monday, 10 in the morning. I I was doing some gardening on Saturday and I was trying to get the lawnmower started and I'm cranking on that thing like 30 times. Nothing happened. Thought, fine. Monday comes, 10 o'clock. Uh, I'm walking around, suddenly back tightens up and oh, crap. So I went to the doctors yesterday. They got me muscle relaxers, pain pills. So I didn't even know what day it was today, but, uh, you know, no, I, you know, took them yesterday. It really helped so far. So good. The pain is gone. I hate bad backs. If you guys ever get them, uh, I sympathize because man, they are terrible. It does not appear I cut myself. 
Good. So that's a vintage razor, man. 1969 razor still works good. And and just check out the photos as, as long as the doors are opening up like, you know, equally instead of, you know, one straight up and one that, you know, when you're opening up those twist opens. Usually they have pretty good pictures when you're buying these used razors. And I imagine they're selling them on like the Facebook pages and stuff in the uh, in the wet shaving club stuff for sale, trade. Whoa, 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 man. There's a burn. Wow. Old aqua velva scent. Man, oh man. I'm going to be honest, I forgot where I got this. It probably was uh, Amazon or eBay, but uh, firms and tones. But man, it does smell good. I think it's. Probably too big to bring, oh, 3.5 ounces. I don't know how much you can bring on a plane for travel, but that might be too much. I think it's two ounces. I, I don't travel, so I don't know, but nice. All right, everybody, thank you very much for joining me today. And uh, see, vintage razors still give a good shave. So to answer his question, <laughs> should I get vintage or modern? Uh, it's an addictive hobby, my friend. Uh, you're probably gonna end up getting both. And that's what I did, and probably a lot of you do. One thing about the new razors right out of the pack, pretty pretty sure you're gonna get a good shave. Some of these old ones, depending how they were treated, you know, you you know, if it's if the if it's just not aligning correctly, you could have problems. But thank goodness, most 99% of the ones I've bought used, I've had no problems with. Just polish them up and man, they look great. All right, everybody, have a great week. We'll see you real soon. Bye for now.